sorry for whoever's doing this, that they feel that desperate, that they feel that they have to break into other, to other businesses and cause this kind of anguish to people. Good evening. Area police agencies are searching for a man in connection with a string of burglaries that have taken place throughout the area. Police say 45-year-old Sidney Hawkins is the person of interest and is wanted for questioning. Hawkins' car was caught on video surveillance at a business broken into, into earlier this month. The most recent break-in happened at Everyday Gourmet, a kitchen specialty store on Cardinal Lane in Howard. Fox 11's Kristen Crowley explains why authorities believe the thefts are linked. The owner of Everyday Gourmet says she feels violated after a break-in during the dark of the night. When I got here, the front door was shattered. There were f um, five officers sitting here, and someone had thrown a rock through the building, through the front door. I've never saw so much glass. It was just shards everywhere, all the way to the back of the store. Sharon Rudolph says she got the call from the Brown County Sheriff's Department around 5 o'clock Friday morning, letting her know that her business was the latest in the string of burglaries to hit the area. On July 1st, the owner of China Walk in Pulaski says someone smashed the front glass door and made off with some money in the cash register. The same thing happened to El Serape in Ashwabanan on July 6th and again on July 10th. One day later, another break-in at Rima's Taste of Chicago. Other businesses may also be linked to the crime spree. Pulaski Police Chief Randall Dunford says area law enforcement agencies have been working together and have come to the conclusion one person could be responsible for all of the break-ins. With the evidence that they've obtained from their burglaries, they were able to link it with ours. Dunford says 45-year-old Sidney Hawkins is a suspect in the burglaries. The chief tells Fox 11 Hawkins' car can be seen on surveillance video from one of the businesses that was victimized. But authorities have not been able to locate Hawkins at this time. Police describe Hawkins' car as a 1988 Mazda maroon in color with Wisconsin license plate 860RNF. While authorities want answers from Hawkins, so does Rudolph. I hope they catch him. I feel sorry for whoever's doing this, that they feel that desperate, that they feel that they have to break into other, to other businesses and cause this kind of anguish to people. In Howard, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News. Rudolph says police found an item the suspect left behind at her store. She says they are checking it for prints and she hopes it could lead to an arrest. If you have any information about the burglaries, you can contact Ashwaubenon Public Safety at 492-2995.